This is Dan Seifert with MobileLearn.com, and this is a look at the new Google Drive app for Android devices. Google Drive is in Search Giant's new cloud-based storage service that uh, kind of competes with Dropbox and SkyDrive from Microsoft and a couple of other services that are already available. And it really is just kind of like a extension of the already existing Google Docs service. Now, associated with this new uh, Google Drive service is the new Google Drive app for Android smartphones. Um, and really, it's just, like I said, an extension of the existing Google Docs app. In fact, if you have Google Docs already installed on your Android phone, Google Drive is just an update for that, which then converts it to the Google Drive service. Now, with Google Drive, you can store various things to Google servers, uh, files, images, documents, etc. And then you can access them on anything, any one of your devices. So here at the uh, top of the app itself, you've got your choice for your accounts. You can search. You've got a menu option uh, here, so you can access a few different um, settings, uh, encryption and uh, cache control, stuff like that. And then you've got a listing for your My Drive, which would be your documents that you have on your account. Uh, files that are shared with you, starred files, recent files, and then any offline files that you store to your phone itself. So if we take a look at our My Drive here, we got a couple of different documents in here. It's very similar to the Google Docs app that was available for Android prior to this, uh, but you know, it's got a slightly different icon, new branding, and things like that. You can create folders and access various uh, documents within your folders. And then once you open a document, you can then view it. You can add collaborators if you'd like and you can open it in web mode or send feedback. Now opening it will also give you option to edit it right there on your device. And then it saves and then it's available on your Google Drive account uh, regardless of what device that you're actually on. So we've got a demo spreadsheet here as well. So we've got a document, spreadsheets, um, See, the spreadsheet here actually opens more or less the web view, whereas the document opened a native uh, editing view, which is a bit nicer. The spreadsheet's not exactly uh, the friendliest to edit on a mobile device. And then there's also support for the various Google Docs files. You've got presentations, so you got a little basic presentation here that you can play. Um, and you've got some basic uh, editing options there. Take a look at the shared files. So these are various shared files. Then starred files. So you can star your access files and access them quickly uh, instead of uh, navigating manually through. Recently accessed files. And then any, like I said, offline files that you store to your account. Now you can upload files that are added uh, from your phone to your Google Docs account. So you can upload things like images. We'll just snap a quick image here. And using Android standard uh, share function, we can select our drive account, and then you have options for uh, you can change the title, you can convert it to a document file as we'd like, and then up here in the notification bar, you can see it uploading to Google Docs. So that's a really quick overview of Google Docs for Android. It's really just, uh, excuse me, Google Drive for Android. It's really just an extension of Google Docs as we know it. Google says that it plans to add more features to Drive in the near term, but for right now you get about 5 gigabytes of online storage for free, and then you can ex uh, purchase extended uh, storage options if you need more actual capacity than what is offered with the 5 gigabytes. And Google says that a uh, version of this app is coming to iOS in the near future. So there you go, a quick look at Google Drive for Android. This is Dan Seifert with MobileBurn.com. Thanks for watching.